Jews, the Israelites, are in the desert. And God commands them to build a mishkan, a tabernacle, in which he can rest his divine presence and have a relationship with them. But in order to build the mishkan and many of its utensils, the aron, the ark, and the shulchan, the table, the Jews need wood. Where are they going to find wood in the desert? Fortunately, their forefather, our forefather, Jacob, Yaakov, had planned ahead. He knew prophetically that they would need wood in the desert to build a mishkan and its utensils. So he had planted trees in Egypt and told his children to tell their children through the generations that when it came time to leave Egypt, they should chop down those trees and bring them into the desert. But that's where the story gets even more interesting. Because Yaakov didn't just plant those trees in Egypt, he replanted them. He had cut down the trees that his grandfather, Abraham, Avraham, had originally planted in Israel. Those trees were part of Avraham's Eshel, the place where he greeted his guests and showered them with his legendary hospitality. Those trees were a living embodiment of Avraham's kindness. So Yaakov wanted to make sure that that kindness got baked into, became part and parcel of the Mishkan, the place where we would have a relationship with God. Because he wanted to send a message to the Jews in the desert and to us nowadays that if you want to have a wonderful relationship with God, there's only one way. In your personal life, in your interpersonal dealings, you are arrogant and obnoxious and short-tempered and self-centered and stingy and callous and stubborn. You can't just flick a switch and suddenly have a wonderful, warm relationship with God. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter how much charity you give. If you terrorize your children or your employees or your neighbors, it doesn't matter how much intensity you have while praying. In order to have the right relationship with God, you've got to first work on building a kinder, gentler you. Then, and only then, will you be able to have the kind of relationship that you want, from which you'll benefit so much with the big man upstairs. Thank you.